first off, congratulations on the film. Thank you, guys. Really it good is you. it is quite an experience, <laughs> and uh, I've watched you know a lot of movies this year, and there's big movies and small movies, but I don't think I've had an experience quite like this. Oh. When you when you watched it back yes. yourself after writing it and spending so much time in it, did you have a similar experience that it was yes. kind of it was kind yes. of a lot to take in? Very well. Actually, the first time I started seeing parts of the film was on set because um, we shot it in real time and because it's it's one take mm. I think on like day four Sam was like hey come into my trailer and he, he showed me the first six minutes of the film um, and that was electric because um, you know you're 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 trudging through mud and you've got no idea if it's working and then you see it a couple of shots strung together and you're like holy crap <laughs> it is working so it was really really profound yeah, when, how early, uh, how long ago did he come to you with this with the concept? Was the concept kind of part of the package, or did it kind of grow? Um, from no, there? no, he knew he knew it wanted to be one shot. So I think that he called me, I want to say like April last year, <laughs> um, maybe maybe March last year. Um, I was like sitting writing in my pajamas as I do as a, as a screenwriter, as a glamorous <laughs> screenwriter, and then like Sam Mendes' name scrolls across the, sc the phone. So you're like, hello, first ring, I'm like hiya, um, and he was like, so I have this idea. Um, and he told me third time's the charm because we had two other projects together that they didn't go. So I was excited right off the bat. And then he went, um, so it's going to be a World War One movie. And he didn't know I was a massive World War One uh, history buff. So I was very excited. Um, and uh, it's going to be kind of sort of loosely based on stories my grandfather told me. I was like, great. Uh, <laughs> and then he's like, come come by my house Tuesday. We'll work on it. I was like, go, 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 go. And he's like, oh, by the way, it's all going to be one shot and hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I was like, <laughs> Takes him. I was like, did, did, I, did I hear that right? He's like, yeah, yeah, see you Tuesday. I was like, oh, God, don't even know how to do it. Um, so, so yeah, from the very beginning, it was in the DNA. Before there was even a script, before there was even a treatment, we knew it was going to be one shot. And obviously with the one shot, I mean, it, it, theatrically as an experience, it's very, very intense. It but is. I guess for a screenwriter and for you and Sam together, if you don't get the emotional stuff right as well, well the, the kind no of gimmick point. doesn't yeah, yeah, quite work. Yeah. Was that part of the process that you had to you, know you had to you get know, both? Married together. I think we would, we would, so the script we wrote on spec. No one paid us to write the script. We decided we would just do it and try it and see if it worked. We didn't even know if it was going to work um, when we sat down. Um, and to be honest with you, the gimmick, the idea of it being one shot was never thought of as like, oh, this will just be cool and put bums in seats. It was about how can we tell this story the best way? How can we make people feel like they're living this journey? How can we make this movie feel like 115 minutes in someone else's life? So all of that came together. There was never any compromising of the emotional arc of it for a gimmick. It was it was important to us that this was a this was a great movie to watch, regardless of how it was shot. Um, I just think it was incredibly brilliant move in Sam's part to do the one shot because it, it transforms like the story it transports you through this world in a way that I've never seen on film yeah and I guess I was talking to some of the guys at the premiere the other night and saying about how you know younger audiences and younger generations don't don't always know the history but this yeah. gives them the kind of experience that they're used to at the cinema but also gives yeah. them a history lesson that well, you must be so happy that that's gonna um I you know what like the like. thing about the first world war is it's just it's just falling out of living memory right like the people that fought in it have have just passed away really the last kind of generation that experienced it and it's so important to remember it because they were fighting for a united europe and that's very relevant today still somehow um and just this idea that if young people can watch this film and can realize what these men through what these men went through uh, and and can understand a bit more of of the carnage that war brings that it's not cool that it's not awesome that it should it should never even be a resort um that is my ideal. It's, it's a war movie about stopping a battle. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not pro war. <laughs> yeah, very, very true. Well, absolutely love to talk to you. It was really nice to speak to you as well. Thank, Thank you, you very Cheers. much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!